everyone. I'm Amna San, back with another live streaming in front of you. I hope you guys are doing amazing with your loved ones and family out there. And as you know that, why I say this, what's the reason behind just to, again, cheer up yourself more or get yourself up and then again, enjoy your life at the same time when you're following your career dreams. That's really important to take care of yourself and uh, be with your loved ones, enjoy your moments with your loved ones. So that's why I hope that you are having an amazing time with your loved ones and family. And that's why you really say that and uh, ask you at the same time. Okay, so uh, previously um, I have done, as you know, the um, presentation on the moon optimization. Very simple presentation, yet very catchy ones, and also very easy to understand. Then how we can take LinkedIn optimization to the next level, how we can understand each section, the uses of the each section LinkedIn provides us, right? So back again with another simple presentation uh, for LinkedIn optimization. It's all about skills. What type of skills you can update in your profile, why you have to update in your profile and what is the importance to update those skills at showing in profile so that really matters so i came up with uh, a new simple presentation i thought to um, come up on screen today so yeah just feel free to look up any any comments questions uh thoughts about linkedin profile that how your linkedin profile is today what you are thinking for your LinkedIn profile, how do you use your LinkedIn profile, and um, what is the purpose you are at LinkedIn, right? Is it job search? Is it networking? Is it uh, marketing? Is it uh, just for maintaining or creating social connections with the professionals? So what is your purpose? Just um, uh, leave me in the comments, and I will take it uh, timely or after the presentation, I will uh, take those comments or the feedback. Okay, so uh, let's check in who is with us. So Ahmad Salman is there. Yes, thank you very much, uh, Ahmad. Uh, yeah, I'm doing good, alhamdulillah. And uh, I hope you are doing well too at the same time, enjoying your life. More blessings for you as well. Thank you so much for your um, comment, feedback, and being with me at my channels. Thank you so much for your great support. And I hope uh, you're also taking your LinkedIn profile the next level at your career life, whatever uh, you think, which is best for you, right? Okay. All right, so let's um, uh, see that uh, we should start the presentation in a moment, okay? And uh, okay, so Bilal is there. Uh, alaikum as alaikum as and good evening to you as well same time and how you are taking your LinkedIn profile what is the purpose uh, you use LinkedIn just feel free to um, loop it up yeah you're most welcome for the suggestion if I if that helped really and uh, I would really like to know from your side also that how you are using LinkedIn and is it helpful uh, to date uh, the use of LinkedIn in your life and career? So are you enjoying using LinkedIn? What type of connections you built and how uh, further those connections are there in your life and career? So feel free to share. And in the meantime, we start our presentation. Okay, so I'll just uh, share my screen. Mm -hmm. yeah okay so in the meantime just let me know the same thing that uh, you can see a screen and today as you know that what we are talking about right so we are talking about uh, LinkedIn optimization the skills section um, at your LinkedIn profile how important it is so again as it says relevancy matters so when I started my LinkedIn journey, literally, I put up all the skills which were in the top down list. And then 
I realized that, hey, not every skill I possess or not every skill is for me, you know, like uh, say like customer service or um, uh, what was there? When I, when I start my LinkedIn journey, so I was not too much into customer service. I was not into negotiation. So again, but, but still I remember that I put up all the skills and then I realized by the time that what is the relevancy? Either it matched me, either it doesn't match me, or do I use this skill? Do I possess this skill? And what's the matter going on, right? So um, by the time I realized that not all the skills are for me or not everything um, is for you. Again, so we have to think in a way that relevancy really, really matters. What skill exactly matches you? you should be putting up or updating in your LinkedIn profile, right? So let's move on. Again, so choose professional and industry keywords. So when we say industry keywords, so again, it's very important as you know that we always talk about keywords in the LinkedIn. We always talk about uh, updating relevant uh, industry keywords in your LinkedIn summary, LinkedIn headline, LinkedIn uh, experience section. So same goes for skills section. Okay, so scroll through the list of skills in your profile, in you, okay, and try to identify those that they are relevant to you, are they relevant to you or not? Ask yourself, explore yourself, and if they are relevant to you, then you are good to go. Uh, update in your LinkedIn profile, and if they, are not up there, if they are not relevant to you, then of course you don't have to update it. So even... Uh, Today also, I was just checking my um, profile that, uh, hey, is there something that I don't know and I have uh, updated as a skill? So again, um, as I told you, uh, that uh, there was one skill I found and that was uh, speed writing, right? So I was thinking that why I mentioned this is a skill? Is it something really relevant to my profile right now, like the speed? typing speed writing so i mean like uh, i don't have to tell everyone that okay i'm good at speed writing right so it's not relevant right now for me so that's why i just remove it right so instead again um just just same goes for you just try to um analyze your skills know your skills and then apply it accordingly okay and if you see the second point which says that um if you choose your professional industry keywords appropriately so that is or that can basically take your headline and summary to the next level it can correlate with your headline and summary try to read your linkedin profile what you are adding in the content adding the information okay keep on reading keep on reviewing revising or take a feedback with any linkedin uh, coach or LinkedIn expert, right? So that can really, really help you uh, to understand. Okay. So it improves on your LinkedIn profile or the work you do. So your network can easily endorse you for that. Okay. So this is again a very, very helpful for you to apply in this way. All right, so going on to the next one. Let's see some examples in front of you. Um, which says, you know, if you're an accountant, if you are from accounting field, so again, you have to come up with the those skills uh, as a accountant must possess. Then we have communication skills, then we have teamwork, leadership skills, and you name it, right? So there are tons of skills every human have or may not, may not have, right? So um, again, we need to identify and keep on identifying. That is the key. And also at the same time, staying relevant to who you are. Because by the time we develop skills, by the time you learn skills, right? So the moment you are developing those skills, so you're good to go to update it and your LinkedIn. So that is also really, really helpful. So by the time I I, I learn um, more of a teamwork, organizational planning, HR uh, planning, and so on. So again, I keep on updating, rolling it in my skills section. So same, you can do it and maybe 
you will find it definitely helpful. Right? So again, um, yeah, uh, for sure, by the time I realized that, yes, I can present, I can speak, I can communicate. So why not to just add these skills in my LinkedIn profile? Uh, speaking skills, presentation skills, communication skills. So if you are the one, so you have to think first that uh, do you really possess, okay? Then you have to plan out that why you will show the skill in your profile, what is the purpose for showing this skill on your profile, and then take the action. So applying on your LinkedIn profile is the action. And then again, carrying that skill or maintaining that skill in a way that, yes, it can help you to achieve in your life and career. So that can, again, really be helpful. So again, that was a podcast um, uh, appearance in one of my uh, great uh, professional and a friend uh, we met at LinkedIn, Rohit Paul. So I just appeared as a guest um, over the Spotlight podcast, and that was a great, great experience. So yeah, I mean, like I'm happy always to share these things, all right? In order for you to again help. So go on, check out those uh, skills you possess and update in your LinkedIn profile. Okay. So now sharing some of my top skills in front of you, which is again, as you know, that by my qualification, my experience, I'm into human resources. So I possess these skills into human resource, which I practice, which I implemented in the companies I worked in. And then um, uh, related to jobs, career development, resume writing, LinkedIn optimization, interview preparation, presentation. So again, these are my top skills, which I love them and try to learn more each day, again, develop more at the same time. So yeah, just go on, try to explore what are your top skills and you want actually people to know you for, and then they get endorse you, right? So this is uh, very important to, again, know about your skills, right? Skills. What are your skills? What are your capabilities, your strengths, your experience, right? The next uh, part comes in about the uh, endorsement of those uh, skills, okay? So when you add relevant skills in your profile, right? And your network, your friends know about you as a person who you are and you possess those skills also. So your friends and network will endorse you, okay? And also at the, at the same time, um, you can ask your network also to endorse uh, yourself or you can also endorse those uh, friends and network of colleagues, right? So vice versa, you can do it. And that is number one, a great help that you are supporting each other. Number two, that of course you are receiving the endorsement for your skills so that when people visit your profile, when hiring managers, when recruiters, anyone um, visit your profile, so they can see that what you're good at, what are your expertise, what you're known for in the town. So that again, again, help you, right? So uh, start this practice of endorsing each other and supporting each other at the same time, right? So it's a great idea. I always uh, appreciate it. Okay. So yeah, sharing some of my, again, happy, happy clients, which I love to share that what my clients say is for you to understand that how I build and create a relationship with my clients and that professional connection takes to the next level um, once we are into the program and after the program also we are we, we, we become literally so good well-wishers and friends which I love about my uh, work ethics I believe so that is the key Again, so uh, they have been a great uh, collaborators with me and we worked together on the LinkedIn profiles and that was a great experience. So I just uh, love to share with you and hope really that helps you at the same time to understand me more better. All right, so this is again a brief about me. If you would love to know more, again, you can visit my uh, LinkedIn profile and know more about me or book a discovery call or a first uh, strategy call we can we can come up with and see that how i can support you and what type of uh, assistance you are looking for 
um, in your career journey. So I will be very, very happy to um, support and answer your queries if I can. So definitely that would be, again, a great experience for me and you at the same time. Right, so these are my social media handles. You are more than welcome to reach me out. And um, let's talk. Yeah, absolutely. Most welcome. So again, coming in, um, coming with this presentation is uh, uh, the main purpose is again to share my knowledge, share my experience that how did I start things and uh, how I am taking a photo. But definitely when I can do, you can do that too, right? So that is um, the whole purpose of this simple, quick tips and techniques for the LinkedIn optimization. All right, and I really, really hope that um, it helps. So now we are back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Rabia said nice. Thank you very much, Rabia. And uh, I hope you are doing amazing. You remember that we had a chat? And yeah, just feel free to ping me at any time. I would love to hear from you. And happy and nice evening wishes along your way. All right, guys. So I hope this presentation really helps. And uh, it helps you to explore more about the LinkedIn optimization and uh, skills section actual profile. Just go through your profile today. If you are looking um, at your LinkedIn profile to the next level, so you are more than welcome to, to again, explore your profile first in your way, okay? And then if you need any assistance or support from my side, so I am always, always happy to do that. But at the same time, I always want uh, professionals to, to understand or give it a try to understand first by themselves, okay? Because that really... Um, uh, bring out the best from you and that would be your um, uh, uh, You know the first step you have to take it and then if further you you see any or you think that you want to take things to the to the again a great next level so you're more than welcome to connect me talk to me and we can really, really see that how well we can move forward right so I leave you all to the nice evening and a nice time with your loved ones and family as i say and feel free to um reach me out at uh, linkedin and also you are more than welcome to um check my youtube channel at the same time okay so i will upload this um episode or presentation um to my youtube channel also in a couple of days and then you can follow that from there all right so thank you very much for being with me, staying with me, and being a supportive and a very, very great network of LinkedIn and my YouTube channel. So I hope uh, you have a nice evening. Stay blessed. Thank you very much. Good luck.